Hey everyone, this is Alex you say Days, and today we're going to talk about JavaScript and JSON. Now we're quite far in our JavaScript series for testers. We're at module 10. Uh, this is almost the last one. We have a couple more left, so JavaScript functions will be next, and after that we're going to cover some uh, test frameworks using JavaScript. JSON, or JavaScript Object Notation, is a popular data representation format widely used in web development, particularly in APIs. Uh, API stands for Application Programming Interface. It's the backbone of data transfer on the web, making it a crucial component for developers and testers alike. When you're testing APIs, you're essentially working with requests and responses that often use JSON to transmit data. This data can include anything from user information, configuration settings, to the result of a query. Understanding JSON structure and how to manipulate it is crucial for verifying API responses, configuring test environments, and ensuring that the data being passed between systems is accurate. Data types supported by JSONs are strings, so textual data enclosed in double quotes. You can see here key value pair. Uh, the whole JSON is enclosed in curly braces. Name has quotes around it, this is the key. And then John Doe is a string, it is a value, also has quotes around it. The numbers, so could be integers, decimals, floats, doesn't matter, it's just one type number. Has no quotes around numbers, so 30 has no quotes, as you can see. Booleans, so true or false values, no quotes needed. Again, uh, is verified is a key, it has quotes around it, but true has no quotes. Null, so it represents null value, uh, again, no quotes. Arrays. So JSON supports rates and an ordered list of values, just like JavaScript, right? You have an opening uh, curly uh, braces to start JSON. Uh, you have languages as a key, and the value for that key is actually an array. And within this array, you have multiple languages like English, Spanish, French. The last one is objects, so collection of key value pairs as an object. So you open a JSON object in curly braces, uh, which is an address, starts the key's address, and the value within that address is another object uh, which has straight key value pair and a city key value pair. So let's talk about JSON versus JavaScript object. JSON is a subset of JavaScript. This means that any valid JSON is also valid JavaScript syntax for object literals. But not all JavaScript objects literals are valid JSON. Uh, JSON's format is stricter, requiring, for example, that keys be enclosed in double quotes, which is not a requirement in JavaScript. Since JSON is strictly a data format, methods and functions are not supported in JSON. So like in the previous video when we were talking about object dog, there was a function to uh, wolf, like bark, right? Uh, you can't have it in JSON. JSON is just to pa pass data. There's no functions, right? JSON data can be passed around in two primary forms when dealing with web applications or APIs, as a plain text string or as a JavaScript object. This string must be parsed into JavaScript object before it can be easily worked with in JavaScript code. So we'll have an example of this uh, in the code in the continuation of the video. Uh, let's take a look at here, JSON string versus object format. So first line we have here, just the JSON, um, and we have name in double quotes, John, double quotes, age in double quotes, 30 no quotes because it's a number, city double quotes, New York double quotes. So this is just a plain JSON. Then we have JSON converted to a string. And you see it opens with a single quote and it closes with a single quote. So this whole line is a string, essentially a text stored uh, in this variable. And the last one is JSON string converted to JavaScript object. So again, we see no uh, single quotes before or after. It starts with curly braces as an object would. And then we don't have any double quotes around keys like a normal uh, JavaScript object, right? All right, so you will be working in, um, you will be working in parsing strings, JSON strings into JavaScript objects and uh, converting JSON into strings and vice versa. So uh, this is something that we should actually practice hands on and understand how it's done. Uh, as you, for you as a tester, uh, it will be important to be able to retrieve JSON, to parse JSON, and then go and verify the data. Uh, many times you will be working with APIs. So API transfer, a lot of times it will transfer like payloads with data will be 
in JSON. So when you receive that, you'll have to go like line by line and verify that you correct that you get uh, correct data. So the values are correct, and also the the type of data is correct, and so on. So yeah, uh, let's get into the code. So let's start with creating two files. The first file is actually going to be our JSON. So let's create the same dog. Uh, so it's going to be dog JSON now. We had a dog object here in uh, lesson nine. So for this one, let's create ten dot dog dot JSON. This is one file. So this is where we're going to store our JSON. So it's not a JavaScript anymore. It's a JSON, right? And then we also going to create new file. So ten dot json underscore js dot js so this is where we're going to have javascript code working with json so first things first we need to create a json object over here uh, i'm just going to go into my javascript object i will grab this whole thing and we're going to convert it manually this javascript object into json so let's go back into dog dot json paste it here and you see it errors out immediately okay so the first thing what we're doing was the json we want to remove any anything that is not json related so the let dog variable has to go away so json starts with open opening and closing uh, curly braces also as we we're talking about json does not support functions so function will have to go away uh, there's no comma on the last uh, key value pair so that was removed Last thing that we need to do here for the keys, we need to add quotes. So then it will become a valid JSON file. All right, so this is a valid JSON file. Now let's think about some other data types that we could add here. So let's add, um, is the dog vaccinated? And we're gonna add true. So this is our Boolean, see it is supported. Now you see this comma is highlighted in red because it is a last value. I don't have anything else. So I want to remove that if it were the last value, but we're gonna add some other data types here. Uh, let's add an object. So we're gonna add owner, owner, and this is our key for the value owner. Again, we open in curly braces here and we want to add an object. So I'm going to say uh, name and the name of the owner will be uh, John Doe. Okay, so this is the name of the owner. Now we can also add another key value pair within this object. We can say, um, for example, phone. And you know some some sort of phone to reach. Okay, so this is our object, and next one let's have um, an array. So let's say favorite foods, and here array in the square brackets, right? So let's say chicken, chicken. chicken and uh, say hot dog hot dogs so good boy likes hot dogs awesome so this is our json valid json file uh, there are no errors this whole thing uh, we can pass now this as you know anywhere in the internet pretty much but we're gonna what we're gonna do that we're gonna import this into our javascript file so we can work with it uh, and do some operations like going forward, like verification and stuff. For, but for now, let's just let's just import it uh, and type it out and print it out in the console. C, you know, to see. Um, so, but for now, let's just import it and type it out in the in the console and parse it from one state to another. So, I want to do import and let's say ten dot dog. Uh, dot dog uh, actually we want to import and first we want to import it as something so essentially we're giving a value name or variable name for that import so we're going to import it into variable dog right now now we want to say from where we imported it and it has to be in quotes so i am importing it from the same directory so 
dot backslash and it gives me options okay what are you importing here i am selecting 10 dot dot json okay it is important now uh and let's first thing first let's try and print it out console log dog so i want to print it out whatever i just supported see if i can if it's actually important properly so node 10 and not the json we want to tab one more time to switch to another file so 10 json underscore gs dot gs let's run it oh and we have an error here all right so to load an es module set type module in the package json finally we're starting using our package json that we created at the very first video so it seems that there is some configuration that is missing we can't just go and straight import json into javascript uh, we need to update our configuration uh, that is done in package json so we can see it's asking us set type module in package json so let's copy that go to package json and let's after our name uh, add it right here now while we in package json um, you see how the config is actually in json dot json same as our dog dot json so it is exactly the same format absolutely the same all the configuration file uh values here it's it's all in json format right you probably didn't notice that until we actually got into the lesson so you know json is very universal it's in many places okay so we added type module as we were asked in this error uh let's go back to dot json underscore gs i'm gonna clear out the console and do it one more time okay so now there's another error um mm -mm -mm. we added the module type error missing needs an import attribute json so a search and type missing so the thing is you, you can't just straight uh, import json unless you do some configurations here right the first one that we needed to do is that we needed to update package json with type module to be able to import this was resolved but when i try to run it one more time there's not another error popping up uh, and that error says that you have to actually do an assertion here and how the same way how you will be asserting as a tester we actually need to say assert that the type of the file so we're making sure that the type of the file that we're importing here is actually json uh, otherwise it's not going to let us run it okay so there's the assertion there's our first test coming up all right let's clear it out and run it one more time okay here we go so the object got imported uh, we got a dog stored in the and we printed out here's our good boy now coming from the javascript file all right great so now let's do some um, magic with json so first thing we know that json is passed along as a string many times right so we can say let uh dog oh, let's do underscore string and equal to and we have to issue this command json dot stringify and then pass in the object dog okay so now if i'll go and print out console.log uh, dog string let me clear out the console now i'm going to print out this object right here run it and now you can see this whole file uh, this whole json object got stored in this variable as a string and it's coming to the console as a string this is all text now right uh great so now what are we going to do let's actually parse uh it back to an object so i don't want it to be a string i want it to be back json file so i can work with it right um so i'm gonna do let's add a comment convert json string to an object and then here let's add a line uh, convert json object to a string okay so 
let's save it in dog underscore object. I'm going to say json dot parse. So that's another keyword to to make it from the string to an object. And in the parse, we need to provide the variable here that has the string stored. And now also let's print it out. Console.log dog object. All right, great. I'm going to clear out the console and let's run one more time. Now we have two values coming back. One is a string and the other one is an object, JSON object, right? So that's how you work with JSON. Now we're going to have more examples uh, when we're going to get into the frameworks of testing with JavaScript. So we will be actually, as a tester, what you will be doing, right? You will be receiving um, APIs with payloads that carry data. And I'll give you an example right now. So this uh, web page, developer.mozilla.org, and I'm here on the page about JSON. You can go ahead and type it out and read about it. So, but when I refresh this page, so I went into the DevTools, right click, inspect. I am in the console, I refresh the page. Uh, sorry, I go into the network tab, I refresh the page, and there's a bunch of uh, API we can see in the console, in, in the network communication. So one of them, for example, is who am I? So there's a request that is being sent to the server asking who am I? And then there is a response. And look at that. The response right here that's coming back from this uh, endpoint from a server saying, hey, uh, this is who you are. Like I'm not a login. So there's no username. It's no, not authenticated, no email provided, none of that. But it knows for sure that I, I am from the United States. This is the payload. This is the API response. And the data, this format is in JSON. So when you're testing, you would go and start verifying the slide by line. Like, is the country United States? Is the ISO US? Is the username valid? Is the data type correct? And so on and so on. So knowing JSON, working with JSON is very useful for QA engineer. Okay, um, so we are all done for this video. Um, we're going to see you in the next one. This was Alex USA Days. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.